Welcome to my channel, good people. The latest trending news about new and the Speng EV merger is seed a deal or a mere speculation. Well, stay tuned. Let me tell you about my findings. Meanwhile, grab a copper. Of course, I mean a cup of tea. And then subscribe quickly. Do it now. Don't postpone it. You might forget. Okay. The question is whether there's any form of collaboration between Espeng and Neo. Well, the answer is yes. Stay with me. Uh, let me tell you about it all. You see, on December 11, 2020, Espeng want to sign a partnership with Neo. I mean, a collaboration on battery charging services. Bear with me. Let me show you. This guy here, you see, battery, new bus, battery as a service. I mean, you see, SPEN signed a partnership with new to optimize the charging experience for customers. According to the agreement, okay, SPEN Motor will gradually connect their charging network and payment processing system with new power across. China. So, what is the benefit or what are the benefits of this agreement? Okay, wait, let me explain. You see, the agreement can be summarized as thus. Expand and new drivers will be able to use both companies' supercharging pies across numerous cities in China. As a service supplier, New Power will also join the SPEN Home Charging Services, if you like, providing SPEN customers with charging pad home installation service. If you like to know about the benefit of the battery station collaboration, okay, it's simple. You see, what's going to happen is this it will create synergy, sharing of resources, and growing mutual user pool at their disposition. Moving on. However, in my opinion, I think you will agree with me that this is not a merger. So, what triggered the speculation, if you like, the news about the merger? Well, according to my findings, Chinese electric vehicle maker, Espen, the CEO, CM Pong said he bought shares in uh -huh, rival startup, which is the new, during the latest later toughest time in 2019, according to a report by AV Post. Well, what happened? Listen to this, this is very interesting. The report quoted CM Peng as saying in an interview with CCTV that he purchased new stock in 2019 despite the opposition of his friends. The CEO also said he invested a total of 300 million in Spain at that time. Again, the report stated that CEO, CEO Pen reportedly, reportedly said he backed new because the failure of companies like Spain and new will create a big problem for the group of electric car companies in China. Okay, now, now, I believe you are not getting the picture of how the major news was created. That said. Is there any possibility of a merger in the future? Well, I think I say yes, and I will subscribe to that idea. Why? With me, with let me tell you why. You see, Neo and Espen are both new startups with a lot of potentials and very determined to make their mark in the EV market. Therefore, teaming up to form a merger will strengthen both companies' position against Tesla in China as the world's largest EV market. Again, the merger will further solidify new position. If you'd like to know, presently, new customer base, at least in China, is larger, richer, and better than Tesla. And if you ask me, I say, should the merger go ahead? It is going to be a win-win for both Espen, Neo, and Espen, rather. 
Okay, tell you what. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'll keep an eye on both companies and keep you updated on any latest development. So, stay tuned. Okay, here comes the best part. Remember, our target is 500 subscribers. So, let's get there. Uncle, brother, sister, I trust we can do it. All right. Remember, the goal is to generate wealth, build companies, and create jobs. Bye now. See you soon.